All right. Now, where were we? We were talking to Ron. Ron it seems uh, like we keep bringing up Jill every night, but all right, every every, every call. Ron has a uh, bisexual wife, Ron. Yeah, yeah. Been married for a few years? Yeah, about three years. Yeah. Uh, so what are you going to uh, Here's the thing. Does she, does she have any history of abuse? Uh, she does. I mean, it's from her mother mainly. What happened was that her mom locked her. I don't know how her mom done it, but locked her and her sister in a bathroom for three days until the grandparents found them in there. Yeah, that's three bad. Three days? That's bad. That is bad. And Now, now for, forget, the, forget the trauma of that episode. That was her mom. And, that's and, the kind of person she's dealing with. And the sad part of this is because we're in so much hot water with DHS here in Oklahoma, it's, you know, because, of a bunch, because the county that I live in has been wanting my kids for the longest time, and when I found oh. out about it, I had uh, Amber's stepdad come and get both of the kids. So he, they both, which is her mom and her stepdad, has custody of my kids. And every day we worry about you know our child's safety. But you know, the judge. Yeah, wait, what are you going to okay, do? Here, here you go. Well, we're trying to get the money, to get the attorney, so we can have this all turned around. Well, wait, wait a minute. Your yeah. wife is the one they're trying to get him away from. Sure, the right. Kids will so she's be the fine. one. That, she's she's the one that's endangering them. I mean, she had all that horrible abuse, and now she. Was well, not when when we had the kids with us, I mean, there was no signs of abuse whatsoever. Then why did the kids. DHS want them back? Well, because all because what I believe in and what I do, they said that my kids do not need to grow up in that environment. What is that? What do you believe in? I hold Wiccan. on, hold on. I'm. He, I'm he's Wiccan. He's I'm Wiccan. Gonna, I'm I'm going on a limb here. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. Oh here uh, we go. I'm gonna I'm say. Yeah, well, definitely it's you. It's definitely. I mean, come on. He's from Oklahoma. His wife wants the threesomes. Kids were taken away by child protective services. I mean, this has Jew written all over it. <laughs> the, the mom's my her, his old lady's named Amber. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess that um, he's either a. Uh, I'm I'm gonna guess that that he's a uh, certified uh, what what what's what's it called when a guy uh, he's, he's a notary public that's ah. that's what I'm going with okay I, I'm guessing he's a, a notary public what what do you think he does Drew can you hear me I yeah. I think he um, he said he's Wiccan he's in he the said clergy Wic did he say Wiccan I think the, the, he said that the the, the 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 child protective services didn't want them reared around the the things he believed in and the kind of mm -hmm. environment they were maintaining. What's and then I said, well, "What do you believe in?" He said, "I'm Wiccan." What's DHS? Department uh, Health what? Services. Health Services. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Department Ron? of Human Service. Department of Human Services. What are you into, Ron? I'm in Wicca. That's what I believe yeah. in, and I believe in like nature, the goddess, and you know stuff like that. You know, like any other sure. Wiccans would believe in. You know, sure. and I mean, it's just like. But on the subject about my wife, though, like five months ago, I gave her an ultimatum. I said, mm -hmm. "All right, you can go with a girl, but I'm getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to get a divorce." Then stay with me and be with me for the rest of you know eternal you know eternal life, mm -hmm. but yet she still pops up wanting had wanting to bring a girl in the relationship, bringing a girl relation in the relationship, and I've been telling her, hey, remember that ultimatum I gave you a while back, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, us, woo, hey, uh, it's, it's it's like run the kids and her. Mm -hmm. I feel like her marriage is going nowhere. Ron, what, what, uh, how many kids do you have? I have two. Okay. Uh, please, could you two tards not crap out any more kids for the sake of humanity? I please. can't have any more. Fantabulous. That oh, is the best you, news you, I've heard all night. It'd be and, parents and, and the settle down with the chaos. And you're giving the, the kids where you, you gave them to her mother, the one that locked her in the bathroom for three days? We had no choice. Sure. Well, yeah, you had a choice. You could have been decent goddamn parents in the first place, you idiots. You we had were. no choice. We were. I mean, Yeah, yeah, you, you guys were perfect. You're so perfect that Child uh, Protective I mean, we Services okay. were coming no to collect your kids. No one's perfect in life. Yeah, but, but you, first off, you're, I mean, you're, you're a million miles away from using the word perfect. 
Okay, perfect is uh, is is a uh, is a parent that doesn't send their kid to the greatest private school. You're a million miles away from perfect. You shouldn't use perfect when you're talking about rearing your kids. You you have a choice between crap and crappier when it comes to rearing your kids. Be honest with yourself, Ron. Please, nobody's perfect. Uh, well, DHS is after my kids all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, you, were you delusional? Oh, I'm Perfect. not delusional. I mean, I'm telling you up front what's going on and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you made it. Yeah, you act like what you did is uh, the uh, DHS got some spy photos of your kid using the dinner fork to eat a salad. <laughs> you, you, well, who are you, Heloise? You're horrible parents, the two of you idiots. That's why you had to give the way, the way the kids to the abusive mom. I mean, there's more to it than what. It no doubt, no oh, doubt. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. But please don't use the word perfect. Oh, I'm not parents. using the word perfect. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a good father at all. I mean, you know. I mean, now we're now there we go. Now we're I'm getting a little closer I'm a to the truth. Father. Hell, man, for the past what two years, I've been like, well, it's too much. Uh, excuse my language. All right, hold uh, on. A I, I knew the S-bomb was coming. I knew it. <laughs> well, I can't believe, first off, I can't, that's a record for, for not hearing the S-bomb. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, love, I love people's just this sort of wild delusion. Like, I don't mind an F-up who realizes he's an F-up. It's the one that's in such deep denial. The ones that are just steeped in denial, like... Well, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Every, you know, everyone's entitled to make a mistake. Like, they give you things that are very reasonable. Like, don't yeah. you believe that people should get a second chance? Yeah, yeah. people should get a second chance if uh, they get a, a DUI when they're 17. Uh, yeah. If they kill their family with a steak knife? No, no I don't no. believe in second chances. Yeah. They try to corner you into this stuff like, well, now are you perfect? I'm not. Was your fan? Is, is Doctor? Is, no. No one's perfect. Your kids are in danger of being taken away by the state. But you know that's even more than denial. That's a total lack of judgment, where you can't really see the difference between what you're doing and what a perfect parent. Assuming it's just a small distance. Well, he doesn't claim to be perfect. You know, none of us are perfect. You understand? I got that. Yeah. Yeah. He's just uh, he's just into drinking and wicking, and he's got a swinging wife, and you know it's fantastic. Not perfect, not perfect for the children, mind you, mind you. Please, Ron. Yeah. All right. So what what do you do for a living? Uh, I was uh, working on construction. Uh, All right. Perfect. That is the perfect part. So here's the thing. <laughs> You're, you're, you're now the kids are being raised by the abusive woman who abused your who made uh, basically your wife into the mess that she is today. Right. 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 Yeah. And, and this is how life works. Uh, people like your wife crap out kids, and then people like you and your crappy wife attempt to raise these kids, and then it's up to us as a society to band together, pool our finances, and contain everybody. Mm -hmm. Build prisons, uh, open rehabs, get welfare and food stamps. We all have to get together to clean up the mess known as your life. Now, what you can do, Ron, is drop your retarded wick and crap, get a job, fight to keep it, tell your bitchy wife to settle down and get some therapy, not yep. crap out any more kids, get these kids back, and start focusing on doing the right thing. And if you don't know what to do, watch TV. Uh, or get some help. Okay? Social and services don't tell me, is lining up to get into your house. Yeah, and don't tell me you don't know what to do. Social services doesn't like you uh, praying to uh, to uh, someone with a pointing hat, pointy hat and it's stirring a cauldron all day with an eye of, of newt in it. Then knock it off. Would you drop your retarded belief and raise your stupid kids? Stop being so selfish. How about that? Social service doesn't like, they don't like your lifestyle? Why don't you drop your lifestyle then? Once you drop that stupid religion, put on and comb your hair, shave your uh, three-day-old beard, put that beer down, and get a good gig and raise your family like a man. What do you have to say to that? Well, that's well point, but, you know. What? I thought it was a well put point, but you know. Thank you. <laughs>